Uh, you should probably pay attention. Boy, you know I'm born to win it. Ever since I had the vision. When I speak, my people listen. Uh, we can start a new today. No, God, please, no, no, no. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about a new legend that will be coming to Apex Legends in the future, and they're going to involve an ability and kit that is very reminiscent of Fortnite abilities and the whole building mechanic. So along with that, we're going to give out 45 bucks, so all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but now let's talk about what's going on in Apex. So the legend we're going to talk about today is Catalyst, and she is defined as the creative builder, and there was something very important I wanted to go over. As most people have seen the leaked roster right here, you will notice that some of the legends such as even Caliber right there is using an old fuse model and there are a lot of people that seem to get this mixed up so let me explain this the only legends that have models right now are Newcastle and Vantage which is why they have unique icons we've never seen before that is because they are the season 13 and season 14 legend being released the rest on this roster are still being worked on and are not a final product by any means therefore they do not have a model built in game rather they are just testing their abilities to see how it would function and since they do not have models they don't don't have unique pictures. For instance, Catalyst has been getting a lot of traction as she looks like a very unique character. However, the devs for Respawn actually just pulled this from a Pinterest account as a placeholder for the time being. Everything that came with this leak has been 100% accurate so far and we've seen this stuff actually come to the game. So these are actual legends that are being worked on. They are just using placeholder images like I said. I just needed to clear this up. But now let's go into Catalyst's abilities and why they are a little reminiscent of Fortnite. Let's go ahead and start with her abilities and the first thing I want you guys to take a look at is right here in the gameplay she is able to summon structures made of black matter they seem almost liquidy at least the tower part here does and then there is a stronger structure that comes out of the ground now her passive reinforce says that when standing near this fluid structure or doors or other legends these placeables will strengthen their integrity and allow them to take significantly more damage so not only can she build but if you are a camper legend you have some caustic trap set up or you have a rampart wall you can actually put this legend near a door and it will be harder to break it down and implement Infiltrate. She is very much a camping type legend. Now we have her tactical, which is called Pharaoh Shot, which is a reference to that black matter. On impact, the shot will create a ramp of hardened Pharaoh fluid that can be extended with more shots. This can also be used to create platforms on walls. You can do this up to three times, and this is somewhat of their building mechanic that they are working on. What will be interesting to see is once you've used the three up, if you use a fourth one, does the original one disappear, meaning that you can continue to extend these? We aren't quite sure yet, but there's a lot of possibilities with what you could do with this tactical. Her ultimate is called the Iron Tower, where the Pharaoh fluid rises up from below, pushing you upwards while creating a tall, solid column under you. Now, as you can see, all this stuff can be damaged, but it would be very interesting if her tactical will work with the ultimate. It's almost like a Horizon ultimate with the grav lift, except this actually is a solid structure, and it doesn't look like anyone else will be able to go up with you unless they are playing Revenant, and they just try to climb it. We've seen characters and legends like Rampart and the new up upcoming legend Newcastle being able to build walls to protect themselves, but we've never seen a fort-like mechanic where people can extend and build bridges almost from the game itself, so it will be very interesting to see how Catalyst plays. There was also a legend that was dived into yesterday called Scryer, and I just want to make this clear because no one in video form has seemed to address this. We've known for quite a while that Scryer is actually from the Bangalore stories from the Outland. He's the IMC pilot that Jackson and Bangalore fight, and he eventually dies, or so we think. There's a bunch of possibilities on how they could bring him in. It's also important to know that there are also a ton of code names in here and things have changed a ton. At this early stage of playtesting for a lot of legends, they are most likely using code names. In fact, Vantage that you see right here was named Hawk less than a month ago. Other legends like Newcastle, who's about to come in, was actually formerly known as Jericho. Every legend goes through name changes, so don't expect this to be the final product for when they come in. This is just an early idea of what Respawn is doing and what mechanics they are adding in the future. Let me know down below, do you like the idea of a future legend that makes is a little bit of Fortnite mechanics, or would you rather Apex Legends just remain its own thing? Don't forget, this is the last day that you have a chance to win $100 by this video right here. Just check it out, leave a comment, subscribe, and listen for the code word in the video. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.